For Your Money is brought to you by Nelson Corp Wealth Management. It's now time for For Your Money. We're joined by John Nelson, financial planner at Nelson Corp Wealth Management. Welcome back, John. Thanks for having me, Brandy. So we've been hearing about some changes in global population trends recently. Can you explain what you're looking at on that front? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have, and I, this has been an issue for many countries struggling with shrinking populations uh, over the last number of decades. China is one that we're focused on uh, here today. And that's the graphic I have with me, just showing the significant change uh, over the years. So if we look back, China's population growth, um, you know, declining rapidly over the last decades and for, you know, in the relatively near past has actually been shrinking. And this is significant given that they're the second largest economy in the world. The effects that they have there uh, affect everyone. And that sh shrinking population growth might be lower household consumption and a smaller amount of economic activity going forward, which is the concerning part. So what might this mean for the investment world? Yeah, I think overall um, it, it is concerning in some areas. We think maybe less effect on stock and bond markets and more of an effect on commodities and commodity pricing. If you look at oil, metals, um, building materials, things of that nature, that's where I think we're going to see some contraction and the bigger effects uh, on the rest of the world with, with China's economy uh, and household productivity shrinking here uh, over the last few decades. So investors just being careful, understanding those dynamics in those areas uh, as they make investment decisions moving forward. So if you missed any of our discussion, we'll make it available for you on OurQuadCities.com.